Yeah. Hey, Black Rain. Hey, Black Rain. Uh, lean, lean, this stick don't stop. Black Rain, skill time, cause the gun won't pop. Mass pain, stop once and your man gon' stop. Black Rain, stop twice and they all gon' flop. Tryna play for a dub, but I don't even need it. You catch on me 50, you sounded conceited. I still done so bad that he think that I cheated. You said you was pro when I win, you deleted. My diamonds, they rain on me, I'm undefeated. The top of 100, I don't even read it. My rank, you won't beat it, don't make me repeat it. RGA, the squad, man, don't get them boys eat it. All right, man, so I haven't played next gen in a while. Um, it might seem like I have. What, what is this? It might seem like I have because of how I post on my channel, but like some days I record three videos and then I only post like the next gen every other day. So I haven't really played next gen in like a week. Um, I've been grinding. I've been grinding my mutt channel pretty much. I've been grinding my mutt team. I got a, I have my own personal mutt team um, on current gen. Um, that's just what I've been playing, man. Um, let's do randoms, man. Let's see, one, two, three. I got the football team. Have not played with the football team yet. Um, so let's get into it. But man, check this out, man. If you're still wondering, like, why do you still play current gen? Like, why? Like, what is your purpose of playing current gen? Now, if you look at it, excuse me, I don't, I don't play, I'm not big on like this big money games. I don't play like money games. Um, I'm not going trying to win a belt. Um, I'm not like, now I am a competitive player. Like what I play and, and how I play, I play to win. You know what I'm saying? As everybody should, everybody should play to win. But um, at the same time, it's not like I'm trying to be a pro player. You know what I'm saying? I play and the content I put out is for the people who uh, watch and play current gen. So, you know what I'm saying? If you just like me as a, as a YouTuber, like, yo, Black Rain, you're one of my favorite YouTubers. That's why I watch your content. Then bam, you know what I'm saying? That's why you watch the content. But... I also have some people be like, yo, Rain, um, I watch your content. And, and, and they'll say, and y'all will say, I watch your content no matter what content it is because you're a good content creator. And I respect that. You know what I'm saying? I respect that. Whether it's current gen, whether it's next gen, whether it's mud, whether it's franchise, whatever it is, some of y'all, I see you guys commenting down below on every one of the picture, uh, every one of the videos. Just let me know that you guys are supporters and I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Because some people be like, man, he ain't playing next gen. I ain't watching that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just because it doesn't correlate with how they play and what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Um, some people don't. Oh, I need Fuller in there somewhere, don't I? What the hell? I need. Oh, he is in there. I was about to say. Um, but some people just be like, man, I ain't watching that shit. He ain't playing nothing. They got to do with what I got going on. So I'm not watching that. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's That's fine. But at the same time, it's like, um, at the same time, it's like, like I, I watch some next gen, I watch some next gen, like I watch form and, uh, I don't really play, I don't really play next gen that much. I don't really like next gen that much. You know what I'm saying? But I watch form because I like that he's a good cre content creator and I'd be interested in seeing how he plays sometime and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? But I don't just like, like when I watch a YouTuber or if I watch a streamer, like I watch, I watch this uh, this Fortnite streamer named Ship. I watch him like every single day when I'm eating. Like when I'm eating, uh, I gotta be sitting down. And I gotta be uh, watching something. Whether I'm watching a battle rap or you know what I'm saying. I like to watch Fortnite. You know what I'm saying. Do I play Fortnite a lot? Not a lot, but I do play it sometimes. Um, but it's interesting to me. But I like Ship because he's a good streamer, um, and he's good. You know what I'm saying. So. I watch him play and I eat and then, you know, so I watch him for like 15, 20 minutes a day. Then I watch him for another 15, 20 minutes and then that's it. You know what I'm saying? But I like him as a content creator because of he's a great content creator. Now, if he's playing Call of Duty or if he's playing whatever he's playing, I'm going to watch it because I like him as a content creator. But not everybody's like that. But I play current gen simply because I enjoy it. Simply because I can get on. I can 
you know what I'm saying, correlate back and forth with, you know what I'm saying, what's, you know what I'm saying, I just, I just like current gen. You know what I'm saying? Whether you guys be like, yo, I don't like current gen, I just like next gen. Cool. You know what I'm saying? But as a content creator, as me creating content for my channel, I got to play what I'm comfortable with. Now, I'm not saying I'm not comfortable playing next gen. It's just that I do not enjoy next gen. Like, I do not. It's not, oh, you ain't given enough time. I've given it too much time, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I play it just because some of you, some of you guys want to see me play it. You know what I'm saying? I don't play it for no other reason whatsoever. Like, I don't play this to like one day, man. I'm gonna try to be the best next gen rigs player. I'm gonna try to like be good at next gen. You no, know, I play it just because you guys want me to play it, and I just I just play it because I know I'm gonna be decent at it regardless, and I'm gonna win the majority of my games because I'm a great football player anyway. But at the same time, it's like I play it literally just to play it. Like, there's no other way to explain it. I play this game literally just to play it. Like, I don't get on. Only time I am recording content, only time I'm playing next gen is when I'm recording content. I found myself bored a little bit earlier today. And, uh, and I, and I played a, and I played a season in, We gotta throw that ball. I played a season in uh in Mutt. I played a season in Mutt. Found myself just bored. And I mean so bored. And I played a season in Mutt. Now there was not there's no chance in hell of me. There was no chance of me playing a season in in uh or doing anything with next gen. Like I couldn't see myself doing it at all. But um, I was talking to somebody the other day, and they asked me like, "What are the pros and cons of current gen?" I said, "All right, the cons of current gen: things that I don't like about current gen, uh, fall forward. You know what I'm saying? You can fall forward on the run. A anytime you got the ball, you can just fall forward. Um, just not how it how it should be." That's just not how y'all like to say it. it's just not realistic at all. You know what I'm saying? And I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's hard for me to stop the run in the first place. So that is my biggest weakness. That is my biggest weakness. Um, <laughs> McLaren, ain't McLaren like 94 speed or something? So how in the hell is he just getting? How in the hell was he just getting caught like that? But um, my biggest weakness is not it, it's being able to stop the run on current gen. So when people run the ball on me, it's tough for me because it's not like like I can have three people right there and they still might fall forward for two or three yards, and that's up. You know what I'm saying? Um, another uh, con of next gen uh, of current gen is uh, you can block field goals. You can block field goals. You can block punts. Um, now that's a con for some of y'all, but I like, I think that is a pro, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's realistic or not. Um, now that, we need to get off the topic of, of being realistic and not being realistic because at the same time, like it's a video game. So, um, it's not going to always be realistic. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not, you know what I'm saying? So, but at the same time, um, being able to block field goals and punts on there is a game changer. It just, they haven't patched it because they just don't care about I guess they don't care about current gen. I don't know. I can't say what they care about and what they don't care about, but because I don't know them or even, I don't even know who makes the games. You know what I'm saying? I need to find like the individual people who make the game and like ask them questions. You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, blocking field goals and punts is, is tough on there because it puts you in a situation to where like, it puts you in a situation to where like you're just like, Okay, damn, I can't kick a field goal. You can be down two points and you're in field goal range. It's like, fuck, I can't kick a field goal because he can block it. You know what I'm saying? Or it's fourth and 30 and you need to punt the ball. And you can't because he'll block your punt. You know what I'm saying? So you got to go for it. You know what I'm saying? So um, when I play current gen, I keep that in mind.
That's crazy. When I play current gen, I keep that in mind because um, I just try not to get myself in those situations. You know what I'm saying? To where somebody's about to block my punt or where I got to kick a field goal. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's kind of tough. Um, let's see. Another con that I think, personally, of, uh, of current gen, I personally can't think of anything else that's like just absolutely terrible about the game. Um, sometimes they don't, you know what I'm saying, they don't catch interceptions when you want them to, but I mean, that's on next gen too. Um, I feel like they play their zones pretty good on, on uh, current gen. Now, here's the pros of current gen. I like the movement. A lot of people don't like the movement. But I, I personally like the movement. I love the movement. Um, let me see. What else? Um, I like that you can pass lead. I like that you can pass lead. Like you can like, if I want to throw the ball outside to somebody on the outside go route, they will throw the ball outside. You know what I'm saying? Outside go route. I also like the fact that um, I like the fact that since it is a video game, since it is a video game, I like the fact that I can guard multiple routes. I like the fact that I can guard multiple routes with one person. You know what I'm saying? I like to be able to uh, guard this slant and then go up and help guard the pose. And then if I have to come down and help guard the dig, I like that, you know what I'm saying? It's a video game. It is a user-controlled game. So why not play, uh, you know, why not have a great user? You know what I'm saying? It's user-controlled. Like, oh, we didn't get our feet down. Like, it's, it, it's user-controlled. So it's not like the computer's doing that. It's not like computers going and playing this and that and just all over the place, back and forth across the field. It's my user, you know what I'm saying? It's the person that I am controlling. You know what I'm saying? So I honestly like that. Um, other things that I like about the game, I like the speed of the game. I like that the game is fast. I like that it is a fast paced game. You know what I'm saying? Um, the NFL, when you when you play high school football and then you play college football and then you play NFL football, I've never played NFL football, but I've played high school at a high level and I've played college at a D1 level. And what most people will tell you the difference is, is the speed of the game. It's a more fast-paced game. You know, it's a high school. When I went, when I was, uh, when I finally graduated college, I, uh, he is so off. Oh, he's good now. When I finally graduated college, I went to a high school game, and it was kind of hard for me to watch. The game was kind of hard for me to watch because the game was so slow. And they was like taking so much time in between to to call a play and all type of stuff. And it was just, I should have threw it to X. It was just, no, oh, we went out of bounds. It was just kind of hard for me to actually, you know what I'm saying, watch because it was so slow. And then, you know, you watch college games and it's it, it speeds up in college and then NFL is even faster. You know what I'm saying? So, so if I'm playing a football game, I want the game to be fast. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no slow ass football game where guys are just running slow as hell and less. And that's that's a and that is a that is a con of current gen of next gen. I feel like next gen is just so slow. Um, it's a user controlled game, but I feel like it's more animation based in next gen. I feel like it's more okay. Who did who did man decide to give this animation to? Um, another thing I like about current gen, this is what I like about current gen. I like the fact that I can play defense. I like the fact that I can put zones on the field and they will play that exact zone. Um, next gen, I feel like when I put zones on the field, they do not play what I tell them to play. You know what I'm saying? And it's often like, like, all right, for an example, let's say there's a purple on this side right here. Let's say this guy right here, the receiver in front of him runs a drag. This guy right here runs a drag. This guy right here is in a purple. 
This guy that's in a purple, when he run a drag, he will come all the way down here. And then when this guy runs a drag right here, he'll get beat by this guy right here, even though he's supposed to be sitting here in a purple. That's one thing I hate about, uh, about next year. That just one thing I, I just can't. That just timeout, timeout, time. Oh, timeout, timeout. My flip defense is, is supposed to be off, but it's on. Whoa. So why was it? Hold on. Okay, there we go. But that's just one thing that I just cannot wrap my mind around when it comes to um when it comes to next gen. Like that's why you see me playing man to man. And people will tell you, yo, man to man suck. Well, I'd rather get beat in man to man knowing that I have somebody manned up on a man. Like I have I have a body on a body. You know what I'm saying? I have a body on a body. And I can deal with that. But as far as I tell you to play a zone and you don't play that zone, then it's like, what's the point of me playing? You know what I'm saying? What's the point of me calling a zone play? That's the whole point of zone. You know what I'm saying? To everybody to be like, have their own zone. Bam, you got to play this, you play that. You play that, you play that, you play that, you play that. And bam, you know what I'm saying? You should sit You should just sit there and play routes to come in your zone. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be a purple. You shouldn't be way down here in the middle of the field. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's, just, that's just personal experiences, man. That's just one thing that uh, that I don't like about next gen. Um, like I said, once again, it's a user controlled game. I don't like that it's. I don't like that it's so user controlled. Um, I need to switch a couple people real quick because I just noticed something. How do I do substitutions? Um, Let's see, who is this? DeForest, we're gonna put Jam in here and we're gonna put Forest there. Bam, cause I'm manning up my, uh, I'm manning up my, my left linebacker with that uh, receiver over on the left side. Um, Since there is no defense on next gen, like, like you often see people go like, 88 and 89% passing, two people. Like, 88, 89% passing. It's hard to get a stop. Everybody knows that it's hard to get a stop on next year. Um, but since it's so hard to play defense, it comes into a, a game of just... of just managing... That's the same dude I just manned up on him out there. It comes into a, a point where you're just managing the clock, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Well, this game right here is a high scoring game. Well, it's going to be a high scoring game because they're both just dotting up. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can tell the guy right here to know how to play. I can tell you, I can definitely tell he knows exactly what he's doing. But um, a lot of games I play on next gen is just often about managing the clock. Um, on current gen, it's like once you got your opponent figured out, they're in a box. Next gen is like you can have your opponent figured out. And then they'll still make the play. And it's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Um, what else? Current gen honestly feels smoother to me. I'm talking about personal experiences now. Some of you guys will sit here and say, you know, next gen feels way smoother to me. It might, you know what I'm saying? Um, on next gen, on current gen, you're going to have way more turnovers. On current gen, you have way more turnovers because the game is faster, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you guys gotta think faster. A lot of people don't like to think fast. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what it comes down to sometimes. A lot of people don't like to think fast, so they're like, oh, wait a minute, slow the game down for me. I need the game slower. Did y'all see, did y'all see what I had square on? I hate the way they run routes in this game too. Did y'all see what I had Terry on? I had Terry on a dig route, up, up the field and an end. Did y'all see what he ran? He ran it damn near like a post. He ran damn near a post. And I'm I was so I'm so I was so confused on on why he was running a uh, I was wondering like why he was going so far down the field like that. Look at I got him on a, a dig once again. Look at it. Why did you take so long? He can't, like, like he he ran up the field and, like, stuttered his feet, like, three or four times 
and then the, I hate the way they run routes on this game. This is this is Terry. This is this is a receiver that has that. This is a high level receiver. Like, why do he got to run up the field so slow and then break all the way down, like three or four steps to break down, and then like eventually like turn into it? Like, the route running on this game is shitty. You know what I'm saying? The way they run routes is just it's. It just makes no sense to me. Great defense right there. Great defense. And if I could, if there was a such thing as pass lead, you, did y'all see how much wide open space there was up the field? I tried to pass lead it like up the field. Okay? And it just would not let me throw it up the field. Because there's no pass lead on this game. You know what I'm saying? So that it just... It's just a lot different, man. Once you're coming from current gen to next gen, it's just, it's tough. Um, the things I do like about next gen, it's it's tough to say. Another thing that suck about next gen is escape artists. Um, and, you, and you can tell escape artists suck um, because, <laughs> this is, hear me out, hear me out. Instead of them fixing, uh, Instead of them fixing the escape artists and as to like just rolling out as much as you can, instead of them fixing the shit, you know what they do? Since they only care about mutt, they only care about mutt. We know that. We don't, they only care about mutt. They never cared about rigs ever. But instead of them fixing the escape artists and fixing the contains and fixing so you can't just hike the ball and just roll out to the left, you try that shit on next gen, on current gen, it's not happening. You know, because that's real. Like quarterbacks don't say. I say we gotta stop saying real life, but quarterbacks gotta quarterbacks don't just hike the ball and just run to the left fast as fuck and just outrun everybody to the left fast as fuck. They don't just run to the right fast as fuck and just be able to outrun everybody fast as fuck to the right. They don't hike the ball and just side to side like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, instead of them fixing that, what they decided to do, what they decided to do was make it so that it's expensive and mud. So if you guys don't know, so if you guys don't know, there's an AP limit in mud. Um, AP limit, which means like certain um, abilities cost different prices in mud. And Certain abilities cost different prices than what, and um, I don't know what defense he's running, but that's ugly. Certain defense, is, and, and you know what's crazy? His corner is in, he's in cover three. He, his corner's in cover three. Can you tell me why his corner is not just over top of my receiver? Can you tell me why his corner played that like that? Can y'all tell me why his corner was not, because zones do not play what they supposed to play on this game. Like, imagine if that was like, that was a big touch. Amanda man to win the game right there. And he called cover three and his corner just not playing a cover three. That's just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? But um, in Mutt, each ability costs a different price. So on offense, you have an AP limit of 18. Well, escape artists cost 15 AP. Like in in uh in in red in, in on current gen, escape artists is five AP. You know what I'm saying? But they understand that this game is so broken. They understand that this game is so broken. They understand that this game is so broken to the point where. Oh, can I get three points too? I get a, can I take a field goal? They understand this game is so broken to the point where they were like, all right, we're going to make it 15 AP so that nobody pretty much wants to pay 15 AP for escape artists. And that's bad. If next gen is the future, if next gen is the future, then tell me why they won't fix that. Everybody agrees it's broken. It's not me. It's not just me that's like, yo, this shit suck. Escape artists suck. Everybody that played current gen will tell you that that um, escape artists is terrible. So what they tell you to do? Yo, Rain, if you get, if you go, that, this is what, what y'all told me. Yo, Rain, if you go get uh, Escape Artists, you'll like, you'll like Next Gen even more. No, I won't. I'll hate it even more. 
I, so so for me to have a good offense, I gotta roll out and just run fast as fuck to the left so to hike the ball. Yeah, it's 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 great. It's great. But at the same time, it's like that's not great. That's not good. No, I'm not saying complaining about next gen I'm or current gen. Like they both got things that they can fix. But to me personally, um current gen is just more playable to me. Maybe because I only play rigs. Maybe because I only play rigs. Maybe because I only play rigs. But what I'm not about to do. But it should not be by game mode though. It shouldn't be. Oh, you yeah. Form told me. Form told me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rigs ain't playable. Go to Mills told me. On next gen, rigs ain't playable. I played one game of rigs and got off. That shit was bad. What? So you mean to tell me that just that people that just play regs for fun, like people that just people that just want to regularly just get on and play the game, can't get on and just play the game for fun? Is that is that what is that what we're being told? Like seriously, people that just want to get on and just play, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I just got off from from work, fresh off of work. I want to just hop on and play. You mean to tell me that I can't just hop on and play? All you gotta do is hike the ball and just run to the left or right fast as fuck. Let's go. I don't know who that was that was playing. Johnson was on the hop like a glove right there. Oh my God. That's why I play man to man. Cause the zones ain't gonna play what you want them to play no way, so shit. Hey, I'm gonna try this go route again. I'm gonna see what this go route looking like again over there. I'm gonna see once again what that shit looking like. It ain't looking like that. Now he wants to play it. Now he played it perfect. <laughs> now he played it perfect. Nice dot. Nice dive. That is pretty solid defense, honestly. That right there is that right there looks good for defense. What he's running, just because his D lines are destroying my offense. Great ball. It was inaccurate too. That's crazy. That ball was inaccurate. But long story short, man, it's all about your preference, man, and what you enjoy in a game and what you can't deal with in a game. You know what I'm saying? If you can't deal with the falling forward, if you can't deal with the game speed of, of current gen. Some people, oh, another thing, some people don't like the movement of current gen. Uh, some people say, like, the movement is too glitchy. But hear, but hear me out, excuse me. Madden 20, Madden 21. Nobody was complaining about the... Nobody was complaining about it being glitchy until nobody was complaining about it being glitchy until we came out with a slower version on on next gen. Nobody was complaining. Oh, this shit's too glitchy. I don't like the movement. Nobody was complaining about it. It was oh, I got stick. I got the best stick work. My stick work is better than your stick work. You know what I'm saying? But as soon as as soon as current uh, next gen come out and this shit slow as fuck, blocky as fuck, it's oh current gen stick current gen current gen's movement is just terrible. You know what I'm saying? Current gen got the worst movement I've ever seen. That is the worst read I've ever seen right there. I'm about to get beat deep right here. I can feel it. Too perfect on the field. I might as well just run back as far as I. Let's go, Troy. Let's go, Troy. Ooh, try to hit him with a stop and go right there. I tried it, and we got ourselves a quit right there. But 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 did y'all see? Did y'all see that? Um, I think I was thirteen for sixteen, and he was eight for ten, passing. I don't know what that, what those, 8 for 10 is 80%. 13 for 16 is, I'm pretty sure is higher than 80% too. 
it's like there's no incomplete passes on here and the and if it is an incomplete pass it's a it's an interception pretty much that dude was 15 and 10 um it's just like everything i don't know man i just feel like everything works and then you get one good play where you play good defense and it's like oof fuck but i was waiting on that like i prayed for that i needed that it's like the it's like the it's like defense on next gen is pray your opponent make a bad read that's defense on next gen just put your defense out there and just pray that somebody make a bad read all right i got the cardinals once again um it's like, it's like when you play current when you play rigs on next gen that's what you're gonna run into escape artists almost every single game simply because of what i just explained it's because of the fact that it's tough to um it's tough to stop escape artists now hear me out i'm not complaining about the game neither game i'm not complaining i'm just explaining to you guys the weaknesses and the strengths of each game you know what i'm saying from my perspective you know what I'm saying? My weaknesses and strengths might be somebody else's. You know what I'm saying? Somebody else might like it. You know what I'm saying? While I'm sitting here saying that I hate the way that it's so slow, somebody might tell you, man, I love the way it's so slow, man. It gives me time to sit back and think. It gives me time to sit back and really make the right read that I want to make. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it that's what it does when, it's, when it slows it down. It gives you time to... It gives you time to actually like. I feel like I can go through my reads better. Like I can, I can have all the time in the world that I need because it's so slow. Guys ain't getting, guys ain't running fast as hell places. So I can really just sit back and take my time and just make a read. Troy Apke getting cooked like that? That's that's crazy. That's crazy right there, Troy. I mean, yeah, I can see that. Nice stick. I can see that. Andy Isabella is fast. Troy's 94 speed. I can see that. Whoa. I did the wrong, I did the wrong adjustment right there. I had two people on D Hop and we got fried right there. But simply because we got fried on the right side because I'm looking at the left side. I got to, I'm supposed to be helping on that side over there, but I couldn't. D Hop fried him again. I expect that though. D Hop's a great route runner. I expect that. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I got to expect that. You often see people run with, um, oh, good hit stick. You always see people run with the Cardinals and um, the Cardinals and who am I looking for? The uh, let me get this shit situated. The Cardinals and the uh, Bills because you got to because what's so OP on this game is slinger and escape artists, and both quarterbacks got slinger and escape artists. So that's why you'll often see teams play with the people play with the Cardinals and the Bills. Both teams got it. You know what I'm saying? That, and and offense is a big part of this game because there's no defense. If you can't, like, if your offense suck, literally, if you have no offense, like, if you if your offense suck and you can't score, then that is terrible because this is a game where it's so easy to score. It's so easy to score, and if you cannot score. If your offense is just simply that bad, you are in trouble. So what people go and do is get people go and get uh, teams that help maximize them scoring. Everybody knows that it's hard to play defense. Don't go get a team you think is is going to be good because of their defense, because you're going to be sadly mistaken. They ain't the defense is not going to play what you wanted to play. Yes, I see X down the middle of the field. I can't throw that. I got fucking Ryan Fitzpatrick. He can't make that read. By the time I throw that to X, the game is so slow. The ball takes forever to get anywhere. By the time I would have threw that, the safety would have peeled off all type of shit. Now, I want to throw this outside. Whoa, what is up with my route on that right side? All right. 
I want to this outside go out to Samuel. I honestly wanted that ball to be on the sideline because I understand that it was cover two. Like, that's what I'm good at doing. I'm good at reading defenses. I understand that right there is screaming cover two to me. But I waited a little bit longer because this is next gen um, and they don't play their zones properly. As you can see, check this out. Go back and watch that. Go back and watch that. The corner over there is in a soft cloud or soft squat. So, if I just put him on that go route, that corner's going to play that. Now, when I put an out route over there, he's supposed to say, okay, I got this go route. Boom. Now, I don't have the go route because now something is in my zone. I got the go route. Mm, I got to come off, and I got to play this right here because now this is in my zone. Did y'all see what he did? He played the go route, and he started slowing down playing the go route. He was like, all right, I'm playing the go route. All right, now I'm not playing the go route. But he did not commit to the. But he still did not commit to this out route. Like, bam, he didn't. He didn't say, okay, this is my go route. Fuck. All right, now I gotta play the out route. If I would have threw the out route, I would have caught it. I threw the go route, I still catch it. Because they don't play the zone the way they're supposed to. On current gen, that soft squat, you throw that out route, he's gonna pick that off. He's gonna play, he's gonna go, he's gonna go play that go route, and then eventually he's gonna come down. And then eventually he's going to come down and he's going to play that uh, that out route. But I took my time right there. <laughs> what happened? I took my time right there and um, we made a we made a read, but it's, the ball still wasn't where I wanted it at. I wanted that ball on the sideline, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, man. Beggars can't be choosers. I'm gonna throw the crosser or the backside dig. Yep, backside dig. Knew that was coming. I have no audibles in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Because I tried to blitz right there, but I have no audibles in. And this is a guy that understands that, this, that that next gen is about clock management. As you guys see, he's chewing clock. He's chewing clock. You guys probably can't see it, but he's chewing clock. He What he's trying to do is score before half and not let me get the ball back. He understands that it's so hard to stop somebody on this game that you can pretty much do whatever you want on this game. And it's going to be hard to get a stop. You know what I'm saying? So... That's how he's playing. He's chewing. Bro, come on now. He's chewing clock. And he's pretty much telling me I'm not getting this ball back before half. And I can't do nothing but respect that. I got to get off of this game. Just like I was explaining to y'all, the zone don't play what they want them to. I got my corner in a hard flat, bro. Like, I have. he's in a hard flat, which means, like, whip routes and shit. This is what he was in. Hard flat. Whip routes and shit. Whip routes and shit, he's not supposed to He's not supposed to be able to just catch a whip route. It's not. It's a hard flat. I should be sitting right here waiting on it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Once again, he's in a hard flat. One, he, he made the hit stick tackle right there. But once again, he's in a hard flat. Okay, Troy. I understand, Troy. Uh, it, Troy had no awareness right there. Troy was glued on his guy. Troy was just glued on his guy. Um, <laughs> Troy just watched the ball go right past his head. That's cute. And I, I just be trying to point out things for y'all. Because obviously, like, obviously, I played this. Obviously, I play it, you know what I'm saying, from time to time. But this is not like this is my main game. So it's not like I get off of this and and, and call EA and be like, yo, y'all need to fix next game because this ain't what I play. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. And, and I don't play this because it's, I feel like personally it's bad. So that's why I don't play it because I feel like it's personally bad. I, me, you know what I'm saying? Me, got a cloud on the left side, hard cloud on the right side. 
Okay, we can make the excuse and say that's, that's Chase Young. He's not supposed to get there. But what what more do I got to do? Okay, cool. I'm just curious. I'm just curious as to what more I got to do. We can make the we can make the assumption that he didn't make that. We can make the assumption that he didn't make that, or he couldn't catch that ball because it's D, because of DN. But it's Chase Young we're talking about, all right? It's Chase Young we're talking about. Lord have mercy, Jesus, man. I don't know what 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 more my user got to do. I don't know what more I got to do. We should be playing the sticks right now. We should be playing at the sticks. Like, we should have our toes on the goal line. Bam. We do. Thank you, Johnson. Holy shit, Johnson. Thank you. Thank you, Johnson. Thank you. Thank you. We should have our toes on the goal line. My zones, my extra zones I got on the field. Should have our toes on the goal line. And we did. Bam. He was there. He was there. Bam. And Chase Young looked like he wanted to go and try to play that. I'm very impressed by you, Chase, because you was actually. You look like you was really going to play that, Chase. So I'm 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 blessed and thankful. Okay. All right. I need three points is what I need. One time out. Can I roll to the right and throw this? Okay. I got one play. He sent a little heat right there. I got one. Um, a good player too. Okay. That suck, but okay. Are you blitzing me for real? I really want to see something. Why why is Terry running okay, Terry was running the outside go route, like Get down. Time out. Perfect. Since you wanna blitz me, okay. You hit you with something hot right there then. Since you think it's cool to blitz me. Nice little three points right there. You can't stop a cold on this game. You can't. It's so hard to stop somebody from getting three points, bro. I'm talking about it's so hard to stop somebody from getting three points. I just got three points with like 12 seconds left. I'm like, I barely have like no timeouts. Well, one timeout. Shit's crazy. But what I'm going to do, Wall Street Fitness, I'm going to see if you can stop the run a little bit, and we're going to chew clock. Oh, now my game plan ain't going to go as planned. Because when I was going to get that ball right there, what I was going to do, honestly, and I was going to bring it out the end zone to fall on the five-yard line, and I was going to run a consistent offense, just running the ball down his throat and chewing clock, and I didn't want him to get the ball back into the fourth quarter, down two possessions. That was going to be my game plan. But, hey, we can still, we can still try to make sure he's down two possessions, though. We can still do that. Another thing I don't like about this game. Another thing that I hate about this game is that meter above the score. Holy shit. Have you ever been getting beat? Like, I, I've came back from 14 to 0 on this, but have you ever been getting beat 14 to 0? Holy, has that meter ever been like down so far against you? Oh my God. There ain't nothing you can do. Dude, it's like, have your uh, routes been shaky over there? Like you can't, you can't hot route. Have your shit been like shaky when you can't hot route? Like I was like, I'm down and it's in the clutch. I'm talking about in the clutch, and I can't hot route none of my people. Like I can't make no adjustments on my offense. So it's like a stop play. I gotta run the stop play. 
Like I could not make no adjustments. And I'm just like, what is this? You mean to tell me I'm losing and y'all gonna go against me even more? Like I'm out here getting my ass whooped and I can't make no adjustments? Like, yo, y'all wanna see the kid lose, don't y'all? Like, y'all wanna see the, I, like this is a video game. I can't hot route. My guy's not remembering what I'm telling him to run. I got to do like, if I want somebody on the go route, I got to press go route like three, four times for them to actually understand that I'm telling them to go on the go route. I'm just like, whoa, this is nuts. I really do need to score this drive right here. I really do need to score. Oh, I need to score, I need to score. We're passing this. You know what's crazy? I should have ran the ball, but you know what's crazy? There was nobody on that tight end at all. So if I put the running back on another route, tight ends wide open for a touchdown. It's crazy I pressed the wrong button. It's crazy. I wanted to press circle, honestly. He ran commit and played on this side of the field for the running back. He ran commit and played on that side. And I wanted to press, I wanted to press circle. But something like everything in me was telling me square. And I ended up pressing square instead of circle. And we were just in better position, I guess, and caught it. But I know he's mad about that. I would be too. I'd be mad about that too. But it's two possessions. Um, now he got to bring out his like full offense and passing the ball and whatnot and try not to, you know what I'm saying, take up too much time on the clock because he still got to get a stop and then he still got to score. So he got to score, get a stop, and then score again. So, excuse me, I'm expecting all passes right here, honestly. Um, don't expect him to be chewing no clock. So in this case, we will be in cover four. Not trying to give up no deep routes. And we give up a deep route. Um, I, this is this is prime example. I have a purple over there. I have a purple. And he just threw it right to where my purple was supposed to be playing at. Which just makes no sense to me. You see my purple. He should be like... Okay, D-Hop's manned up, but it doesn't matter. He didn't get his feet down. This is why I don't play zones. This is why I don't play zones. They play nothing. Like They, li they literally play nothing you tell them to play. Holy moly. Great user skill, Rain. That, that was, that's, that's user. That's, that's just user. That's user. And he know... He know he can't get a stop. He know he can't get a stop. In current gen, this game's not over. You're down nine points with a quarter to play in current gen. That game's not over. Why? Because you can play great defense in current gen. I feel like personally you can. This is me speaking from my point of view. You know what I'm saying? But um, that dude was 219 and 181. Um, and hear me out. It's not that I suck on next gen. I'm 14 and three playing with random teams every single video. I'm scoring 27 points a game, giving up 13. Whether I see and say there is no defense, I'm giving up 13 points a game and scoring 27. It seems like, let's go take a look at the leaderboard. It seems like, now, this is where it gets me at. The point differential is never gonna be big on, on, on next gen, never. Because why? All the games are close games. It all comes down to who can manage the clock the best. Look, he has a losing point differential. He has a losing. He's giving up more points a game than he's scoring. This guy, one point, two points, zero, four points is the highest so far. Three points, four points is the highest. He has a losing. He's giving up, he's scoring 11, giving up 14. One, one. Oh, what is the six? Six is the, is the highest so far. 
And he's only scoring 14, giving up nine, which means he's only scoring 14. I mean, he's the master at controlling the clock. One, one, two, four, ten is the highest. Ten. And coincidentally, he had the best record. Coincidentally, he had the best record in these. Congratulations. One person. Everybody else. One, four, two, two, one, four. So what does that tell y'all? That tell you there's no defense being played. That's what that tell you. If you can't score more points, like scoring more points than you give up means you're winning. Like if you score 19 points a game, this is the average. If you score 19 points a game and giving up 20 points a game, you're averaging a loss, which is crazy. 17, 17. And these are the guys that's in the top 100. You know what I'm saying? This guy is averaging seven points a game, giving up three. So what is he doing? Chewing clock. This guy, 26 and 12. 13 game win streak. This is a real one. You know this is a real one. Six points. One, two. You know what I'm saying? So how can you sit here and say that this is this is a better game? How can you sit here and say it's more comp? It's not more comp. It's just that they take the skill level out of the game to the point where like everybody is pretty much playing equally. Everybody's playing equally to the point where like there is Honestly, like, how can you sit here and say somebody's better than somebody else? Like, when I get on next gen, I can't get on here and say, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that I'm finna whoop somebody. Because I, I literally never know. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm 14 and 3, but I literally never know if I'm a win or I'm not. On current gen, I'm, I'm like 95% chance when I run into somebody, I'm gonna win. You know what I'm saying? I'm confident in myself in current gen. If somebody said, let's play a money game, I'd be like, cool, we can play a money game. I'm confident in current gen because I know I can score. I know I can get a stop. Oh, next gen is like fuck. Go with the flow of the game and just pray that you just you make it out on top. You know what I'm saying? That just that's just my personal experience, man. That's my personal experience. Um, comment down below what you guys think. All opinions are, you know what I'm saying, accepted. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching the video. See you next time. Peace. Hey, Blair Wayne. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. All right, let's do this. For daily sticky uploads, follow me at YTBlackRain4 on TikTok. For hoodies and t-shirts, click the link down below in the description, Black Rain's Bin. That's where you get all your gear at. For funny stories and motivational stories, follow me on Snapchat at BlackRain4. And for the latest news on everything, follow me on Instagram at BlackRain4. And last but not least, if you want to play anybody in Rain Gang, look down below in the description. All the information is down there that you need. You dig? You dig, you dig, you dig.